Hello friends, I am Professor Parag Achilya from SN Jeevis Lexo KB Jain College of Engineering, Chandwar. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about the Jekstral's algorithm using adjacency matrix. Before that, let's take an example of matrix. In this, the numbers indicated in orange color are the nodes, whereas the numbers indicated in the black color is the distance between different nodes in this matrix you can observe the distance is zero between some nodes so the meaning of zero is there are two possibilities of having zero as a distance between different nodes number one the distance zero indicated in green color states that the distance between same node will be zero like distance between one and one zero two to two is zero three to three four to four and five to five is zero that means there will not be any distance between same numbers or same node this is possibility number one and the second possibility will be if you can if you can see the distance between node one and three is zero that means there will not be any kind of age between 1 and 3. That's why the distance is mentioned as 0. In the same way, you can see the distance between node 2 and node 4 is 0. That means there will not be any kind of age between node 2 and node 4. The same thing is applicable for 2 and 5, 3 and 1, 4 and 2, 5 and 2. So the number indicated in purple color is zero that means there will not be any kind of age between these nodes now we will try to draw a graph using this matrix for this let's take the five nodes one two three four five as you can see now we will start creating the graph using this matrix the very first age will be the age between node 1 and 2 having distance 10 like this the second age will be between node 1 and node 4 having distance 30 the next age will be from 1 to 5 with distance 100 this is starting from node 1 to other nodes in the same way we will do the same process for remaining nodes 2 to 1 which is already there 2 to 2 is 0 2 to 3 is 50 so it is like this 2 to 4 is 0 2 to 5 is 0 so there will not be any age between 2 to 4 and 2 to 5 same thing will be applicable for node 3 node 4 and node 5. So this is the final graph generated from the above mentioned adjacency matrix. Now we need to find out the shortest path and the shortest distance for, for this graph using Dijkstra's algorithm. So the Dijkstra's algorithm is basically used to find the shortest path and shortest distance between source and destination. So from these nodes any node can be the source and any other node can be the destination let's take the source and destination as 1 and 5 source will be 1 destination will be 5 so we need to find out the shortest path and shortest distance between source 1 and destination 5 so it is like this the shortest distance will be 60 and the shortest path will be 1 to 4, 4 to 3 and 3 to 5. 